Hey everyone, in this video we're going to show you the most functional, livable and beautiful tiny house we've seen yet. The Sakura tiny house measures 320 square feet. It's 10 feet wide, which is a foot and a half wider than the typical tiny house. It has a really large living room and kitchen space. You can stand up in the bedroom because of the way they built it over top of the gooseneck of the trailer. And it even has a rooftop deck. We're here in Quebec, Canada at the Minimalist Tiny House headquarters where Phil and his team build their tiny houses. They've given us the keys to the Sakura so that we can spend the whole afternoon hanging out in here and checking it out. So we're gonna give you a full tour. Let's go take a look inside. So we're gonna check out this tiny house from one end to the other, starting with the bedroom. To get to the bedroom, there's a nice little staircase here instead of a ladder, and it's actually built in two pieces so that you can push the staircase out of the way if you have guests coming into the entrance. As you can tell, this bedroom is really spacious. First of all, the height makes a huge difference. Instead of having a loft, this actually feels like a full bedroom. There's a nice double bed here and lots of storage. There's full closets and drawers over there and even more storage built into the wall here. And there's additional storage under the bed. And it's six foot two standing height in here. This is one of two vents for the heat recovery ventilation system to make sure that there's fresh air circulating in the tiny house all the time. And there's a nice big window facing the bed as well so that you can open it up and get fresh air and lots of natural light in here. This is one of the most functional tiny house bedrooms that I've seen, especially since it's kind of on the second floor. It just feels like a totally normal space. This is a really nice open concept living room with lots of built-in storage that doesn't make the space feel too cluttered. Some nice shelves here and there's even storage under each one of these cushions. Another feature that we really like about this living room is that the coffee table doubles as a kitchen table and dining room. There's even storage going all the way down to the floor behind these cushions. And there's even a secret storage down here. So we love all of the storage spaces that they've built into this tiny house without making it feel cluttered. Side note, this couch is actually comfortable, which is not always the case in a tiny house. Another thing that we really appreciate in any space is having lots of windows that can open to let in some fresh air. And this wall with three large windows that hinge outwards is a perfect way to make it feel like you're almost outside in here. And if it's raining, it's nice that you can still have them open and the rain just runs off of them. There's a galley kitchen here, so on one side you have a four burner stove and some counter space for food preparation, and on the other side you have a sink and lots of cabinets underneath and overhead. And a full size fridge. There's even a washing machine in the kitchen which is really handy. This tiny house is built to be on the grid, so it's designed to be plugged into electrical and water. The ladder here leads up to a reading loft. You can store this ladder back here, but the only thing it's really blocking is the washing machine. Back here is the bathroom. So there's a sliding barn door here. There's a nature's head composting toilet on one side, a bathtub here, and a sink and storage area here. There's two cupboards on either side. The one on the left is the water heater. So there's a large water heater in here and the reason they chose such a large water heater was because of the bathtub. And the person this tiny house was designed for wanted to be able to take baths without running out of hot water halfway through filling the tub and the in-floor radiant heating system is in this cupboard. And that's the source of heat for the entire house. The Nature's Head composting toilet has two parts. You can see by the way it's designed here, there's a spot for urine to go down into this container that can be dumped out. And then the rest goes into a chamber that you add a special additive to and you can turn the drum and it will compost inside the toilet. The pipes at the back of the toilet help to vent any bad odors and there's a 12 volt fan in there that's running all the time to make sure that air is going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're up here in the reading loft, which is a cozy secondary hangout space. And they've actually extended it along the wall to create a space for extra storage. The loft is also where you can climb the ladder to get up onto the rooftop deck. This is the second heat recovery ventilator at the other end of the house. So there's two in total. And basically they're drawing fresh air into the house and expelling stale air. But what they do is they capture the heat from the outgoing air so that you're not losing all of your heat while you're getting fresh air. I just noticed this while I was sitting up here, but there's actually extra storage space up here. There's also a really long panoramic window along the top of the second floor, which gives you a beautiful view outside. I absolutely love this tiny house. As soon as I walked in, I could totally see myself living here. It has everything you really need. A comfortable bedroom, a large hangout space, a super functional kitchen to prepare good meals, and a bathtub to relax at the end of the day. And the cherry on top, especially for Matt, is the rooftop deck. He's always wanted to have something like that. This tiny house really has it all, including a ridiculous amount of storage. And even as minimalists, we still don't like to have the belongings that we do have kind of cluttered all around our space. So it's nice to have designated areas where you can put things away. I hope you enjoyed touring this tiny house as much as I did. If you want to see more tiny house tours, check out our playlists and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this. We post a new video every Sunday.